dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. Return to the people. Hey, what's up guys, G Silverman here. Just got another box in the mail. Figured I'd put it on video. Uh, so before we get into that, my choice of weapon, should I use my big ass machete or should I use the box cutter that single-handedly brought the world's greatest nation to its knees for a couple months? Uh, what should we do? Let's go with the rusty box cutter. Look at rust on it, so that's a bonus. Sweet, tetanus shot? Yes, got it. All right, so let's get into this. All jokes aside, it's probably just gonna be a small box. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I think it's from the Royal Canadian Mint, so we'll have a gander together, shall we? <clears throat> so a bunch of this crap, the bubble wrap. All right, first item out is, oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. You guys might've seen this already. It is a roll of farewell pennies. It's a special edition. It has the the mint hologram there, and they're very expensive. Ten bucks for fifty cents worth of pennies, but I just wanted a part of history, my own little part of history. And it's got a pretty nice little wrapping on it. It's pretty nice. Look at those. Bling bling. No more pennies. That kind of sucks, but I saved a bunch anyway, so not a big deal. All right, let's get to it camera here. All right, this isn't a silver coin, but I wanted to grab it because the first coin in the series is selling like for four times the amount that originally launched for. What these are is a glow in the dark 25 cent. Uh, I'm not sure what they're made out of, to be honest with you. So there the little label is. Let's go through this pamphlet. Quick times! So the cool thing about these coins though, they glow in the dark. There's a 30,000 mintage. So I got 24,192. I tried to order one for my friend, but they're sold out. He has the first one. I didn't grab the first one, but whatever. I'll probably do an upcoming video on this to show you how it actually glows. If I can get a chance, let me pop it out here fast though. It's crap, these things are always so tight when you first get these things. But it's pretty cool. So you see the effigy of the pterodactyl or whatever the heck this thing is. I think it's pterodactyl. There's the back side and it looks like it's a matte finish or a flat. But the cool thing is, when you do get this, uh, you light it up fast under a bright light and you put it in dark and then you'll see a bone structure glow. Let's see if I can maybe... Probably not. Let's just do it too fast. Nah, won't be able to get it on camera right now. So stay tuned for a later video for that, more in depth, I suppose. So that's called the Prehistoric Creatures Edition from the Royal Canadian Mint. You know, it's cool for kids and stuff. It's a nice little novelty coin that I figured I might as well grab. So I got that, and this I've been waiting for. This should be a really nice little gem piece here. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh yeah. I'll tell you right now, I'm already pleased, but we'll see it. Close up. So, Tradition of Hunting Gear. This is the first series in a new series called Tradition of Hunting, obviously, from Royal Canadian Mint. Uh, mintage of 10,000. I'm not sure how many coins are going to be in the series, but when I seen it, I was actually pleasantly surprised because I like the effigy a lot on this coin. I go hunting from time to time with my buddy. But check this out. Really nice. It looks like a parent teaching their son, I'm not sure if that's a guy or a girl, it looks like a guy. Teaching their son how to hunt. And you can see the deer in the background, and just telling the son to be quiet, and the son's looking up at him. It looks like it's got four different finishes. Oh man, it's quite nice. I believe this is an ounce. I'm not sure, because I ordered a couple weeks ago, I can't recall exactly, but it's close to, if not. It feels like one. And all that. So let me uh, pause the video fast so I can get the high def working because this thing doesn't have an auto zoom. So, uh, hopefully that shows you a little bit better the definition of this. I'm very happy with this coin. It looks amazing. You can see a lot of detail in this particular coin. So yeah, for you guys that don't know, I'm not sure if this one's sold out either, but if it is, you can always get it from your local uh, coin dealers or whatever have you. But I must say, this one is quite nice. You can see, well, you guys might not be able to. 
but you can see the different detail in it. And it has a lot of different finishes. I see one, two, three, like four different finishes myself right now. So very nice looking coin, five dollar face value, 2013 from the Royal Canadian Mint. If you guys are interested, I like to just collect my numismatics from time to time. Only if you know I like them. I don't just buy every coin that comes out, or I'd be a broke person. That's for sure. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, take care, and uh, I guess I'll be releasing more upcoming videos.